So this is a custom modified controller that I made. Um, what was formerly a uh, Toshiba VF-S11 10 horsepower variable frequency drive. I converted it into a 100 horsepower variable frequency drive. And that conversion was actually pretty simple. It has three of these MG100 Q2YS1 IGVT modules. It has a capacitor bank. Those are 3,600 microfarads, 350 volts. And it has the original gate driver board from the variable frequency drive. And you can't see it very well in this lighting. Turn the light on. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. But the gate drivers, let me just see if I can zoom in. Right, it ain't gonna focus. Anyways, they are actually rated to drive 1200 volt and 100 amp IGBT modules, which is exactly what the MG100 IGBT modules are. So, I changed the gate drive resistors, and there's three of them there. That's for the lower stages, and then three more hiding under there for the upper stages to give the proper gate drive resistance so it will switch the IGBTs on and off fast enough so that they will run at their full rated current of 100 amps. And then I've also, the blue, blue blocks down there are current sensors, HAS 100S uh, current sensors. Um, they replace the original current sensors so now the drive only thinks it's a 10 horsepower drive, but it's really a 100 horsepower drive. Originally, the current sensors, which are actually tied in right there, where the solder joints are with those wires that I made, they were originally right there, and those were the original output terminals. Those terminals there. And when the wire, the phase wire, from here going out, went through it, it would detect a current of up to 17 amps and output 4 volts for that. So these new current sensors, I'll put the same 4 volts only at 100 amps.